Hi and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. Today we're going to be looking at something I've been waiting a long time for. I originally pre-ordered this way back in February. At the start of the year, Bricklink launched their own Apple Designer program where fans could submit their own Lego mocks and sets to be voted on. Each set had to reach a certain amount of pledges to be made into an actual set by Bricklink. Whilst there were a lot of great designs, I actually only pledged to one. And now, I finally have it. Let's take a look inside. So here it is, and I have to stress, this is not an official LEGO set, this is an official Breckling set, including LEGO pieces. It has been done to celebrate 60 years of the LEGO brick, and they have worked with the LEGO group and got on their approval to do this, but you won't find this in any LEGO shops or even any toy shops that you know sell LEGO. As you can see, the set that I got was the Wild West Saloon. There's a big picture of it here, it's looking pretty good. So far the packaging looks pretty good, it's a little beat up I think in transit, it has come all the way from the States over to the UK. You can see mine is set 440. There's a picture there of the interior. Let's have a look inside. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but the inside of the sleeve can actually be opened up, although I'm not going to. And uses a backdrop of kind of like a western landscape there. So yeah, you can see they got the Apple Designer Program hosted by Britlink. And Britlink and Lego Group have worked together to produce this. Got a Britlink logo of name on the side, on the front as well. It's actually some cool design here of different pieces. Box is really nice. Feels almost like something you get out of a um, Lego idea set. And you can see it's sealed there. And it's got the name Wild West Saloon, designed by Lego Pard. Okay. Oh, stay. So, got a thank you card there. With a little message, I think one from Britlink and one from Lego. And there's all the finalists there. I think the Wild West Saloon was the second most supported project here. The first was the, the castle one there. Two things that Lego seem to think are dead and have turned out to be the most popular in this uh, contest. So, got bags of Lego. So the bags. I don't know, they feel different to once you get a normal Lego set, but they all feel cheap. What's that there? Okay, so this is the exclusive Lego piece. So it's a Technic brick 2x4 with three axle holes and with a 60 years pattern. Ah, there you go, can you see that? That's pretty cool. Well, I'm hoping there's going to be some instructions here. That's the base plate. Oh wow. So there's the instructions. That's quite cool. I'm going to love a bit of blood air going in. Looks very much like 
how Lego do them. A little message there from the designer. So yeah, you can see the name there as well. Wild West Saloon, designed by Leopards, who's from Germany. And there's 246 unique Lego parts, with a total of 1,496 uh, Lego pieces altogether. I'm really excited to build this and get some minifigures in there. It doesn't come with any minifigures, sadly. You do get the horse, I believe. But I got plenty of Western themed minifigs anyway. It's funny though because Lego seems to think that Western and the Wild West is a dead Lego theme. And yet, as I mentioned earlier, this is or has been the second most supported project in the Britlink AFL designer program. If you'd like to see me review the Wild West Saloon from Britlink, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. And as always, if you haven't already, be a cowboy and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Laters.